Question 21. A progressive radio wave in a vacuum has a frequency of 75 megahertz. So this is F. What is the phase difference between two points on the wave that are 50 cm apart? So uh, you're asked to find phase difference between two points on a wave. And in this kind of question, right, uh, it's probably useful to think about ratios, right? So if let's say you are struggling with the idea of phase angles and phase difference, um, always understand that your waves are represented by a sinusoidal function. Because they are represented by a sinusoidal function, when we want to find the phase difference, it is uh, say it makes sense to compare angles because we are comparing two position points. Okay, so I'll show you a simulation that I've probably shown you quite a few times where we look at the phase difference between two particles, which is this one. Okay, so the reason why we look at phase difference is because we want to know how the relative motion is like. So if the phase difference is 180, number one, we know that these two particles will move opposite direction to each other all the time. Number two, we also know that if let's say uh, I were to move this particle closer to each other, the phase difference will shift. So an interesting observation here is that when I increase it to 360, right, this is what 360 degree looks like. If you do trigger, you understand we have already complete a cycle. And if I play, these two particles will move together or in sync. This is why phase difference is important. So it tells us the relative motion of both particles. And for this question, right, if let's say I want to know what is the phase difference between two particles, I can always use ratio and think about the fact that these two red and blue particles, the separation is one meter is one meter, which is equivalent to the wavelength. Okay, so let me try to pause here. Right, so the separation here is about 0 0.5 to 1.5. So I'm going to just keep this and draw on it in one note. Okay, so I got no space there, so I'm going to put it here. So for this one, the distance here to here is one lambda. Okay, so one lambda is equivalent to 360 degrees. So in this question, it says that this separation, so now 50 cm is equivalent to, let's say the angle theta degrees. So we are trying to find theta. But what is one lambda? Because one lambda is 360, right? So the first step is to find the value of wavelength. So you have the idea that there's a relationship between wavelength and angle. One complete cycle represents represented by one wavelength is 360 degrees. So we need to find what the value of lambda is. No? So I can use V is equal to F lambda to do this, right? Your speed here, you may be thinking, Miss, I don't have the speed of radio wave. You do. This is electromagnetic radiation. So because it's electromagnetic radiation or electromagnetic wave, the speed is 3 times 10 to the power of 8. Okay, you can find this in your table of constants. Then you can substitute by 75 mega hertz. And you can find lambda. So from here, I can press my calculator to see that my lambda is... Let me press my sidebar calculator. Lambda here is 4 meter. Okay, so lambda is 4 meter or 400 cm. So we can use ratio. Lo. So we can do something along the lines of, let me move this here a bit. We can do something along the lines of 50 over 400 will be equal to theta over 360. So you want to find 50 over 400, theta over 360. Yes, so you want to find theta now. So that would be 360 multiplied by 50 over 400. This will give you the angle of 
lambda over 8, 1 over 8. Or, wait, uh, let me press my calculator. My brain is a bit stuck in somewhere else today. Nah. 45 degrees. Okay. So in a nutshell, when you do questions like this, think about wanting to relate distances to wavelength. One complete wavelength is equivalent to one cycle. Okay. So in this question, uh, it may not be obvious in the beginning that you are supposed to find lambda. And the reason why you have to find lambda is because, number one, uh, they give you distances. Uh. So when it's the distance between two, two points, distance, we will compare this to wavelength. All right. So if you're comparing this to wavelength, then we need to find wavelength. So 400 cm is 360. 50 cm will be 360 divided by 8. There, this one. 360 divided by 8. Because fifth, this 50 cm is lambda over 8. Okay, can I? All right, so that's it for this question. Uh, pretty straightforward one. If you need a bit of help, do more questions about phase angles. You can find them in your past year collections. Okay, so these are some questions that you can try uh, from different year and different variant. Seem to be pretty popular for the variant too, but let's not take that as a pattern. So I've selected a few, go try them out. That's it for question 21.